So I don't know if getting the cows up has ever went that well. That went pretty much flawless. And so now it's a pretty monumental day here. The reason we're getting the cows up is because the day has arrived. It is time to take some to the processing plant to be grass fed, grass finished retail cuts of ground beef. We have a lot of you that have ordered quarters, halves and holes. We so appreciate that. Those are going in October but these are going now to be processed into all the different cuts, the steaks, the roast, the ground, all the different things. We're so excited. So that means in a few weeks, we will have all cuts of ground beef in the meat store. But first off, we have to get these sorted out. We have some calves that have lost tags. We need to get these steers put up here in the milk pen so that this next week it's easier to get them hauled. We also have a few cows that have lost tags and why that's a big deal is because if they're not producing a calf year after year after year, if, if that time has passed for them, we need to know that. We are not in the business just to feed cows um, that aren't producing. We cannot stay in business doing that. So we gotta get some tags and some ears and we gotta do some research. I need to write down some numbers that uh, black cows that do have tags so I can compare that to my list of um, who has not had a calf if that makes sense I gotta do some research so here we go We got a little baby we need to tag. We just stuck it in here because it was getting trunkled a little bit. But we are telling y'all in the last video that we had a cow named Mama's baby and she actually had her calf. So this is it. Oh, he's taking a little break. No break.
finally hauling off our first load of inspected USDA inspected meat for y'all. So this is the very first load ever to go that's gonna be processed into retail cuts of meat. We've been selling holes and halves and quarters for years now. And on that note, I wanna thank each and every one of you that have ordered either a quarter, half, or whole. Those will be going in October. Thank you for that. We'll have more next year. We're sold out for those in October as of this moment though. Um, but we are about to have a lot of beef to be bought by the pound. So today we're gonna load them up. We've got it, we, we worked them the other night. That was about two or three days ago. Put them up here next to the house in my milk cow pen. Now we've got to get them out of there into the crowd, loaded on the trailer. We've got two extras in there. Butter, one of my milk cows is in with them. We're gonna push her on back out in the field and an extra steer got in there. So we got to push him out. The rest we're loading up and hauling off to the processor. try to call them. That's that's mine and Lane's idea that we think is going to work. It's the easiest, yeah. Oh, yeah. We're in the easy. Woo! What? All right, then me and Emily going to walk away. Awesome job. I love, I love it when a plan works. Okay, so we're going to separate out the cows from the steers and also the yellow tag and let him out. Oh, it's hard. You look old. handsome. Handsome. <laughs> Painful. Why we're separating them out is that way we know we've got a, a good load on the front of the trailer. We're gonna put the two cows in the back and then that'll also be easier for them at the processor. They'll run the two cows out, put them in a pen because they're just gonna be ground beef. And then the rest of these are gonna be cut up into all different sorts of cuts. Wind up with one too many. We knew that at the beginning, but we'd forgotten we put an extra one in here to compare. So just gotta get the two cows, one of which is kind of cuckoo. Gotta run him out. Come on, buddy. Come on, come on, come on. What comes to mind when I say the word steak? Steak. First word that comes to mind. No, it's steak. Oh, steak. What's the first word you think of when I say steak? Steak. First word I think of is T-bone. 
too well. First word that comes to your mind, don't overthink it when I say steak. Yum. Yum? <laughs> you say yum? And I thought delicious. So Emily and I are obviously on the same page. We're loaded up, we're heading out, gonna go get these delivered. If you are interested in beef from us, stay tuned. This is pretty exciting for us. This is pretty much a dream come true for our family. We've been working towards this moment for the last several years and the day is finally here. We will have our first retail cuts of beef. Thank y'all so much for your support. If you're new here, uh, we do have a meat store, vwfamilyfarm.com. We'll get you there, go there, and there's a link to the store as well. Just thank y'all for everything. Thank you for those who came out to Missouri uh, when I spoke this weekend and supported us. It was awesome, wasn't it? It was great. It was great meeting y'all. Uh, we had so many people say, uh, we're praying for y'all. We love y'all's channel. Thank you for everything you do. And we just want to say thank you to you guys. <laughs> They're getting violent. They're getting big. We got we got grown kids. Yeah. Now they're making fun of us. We got three of them. We're getting old. Yeah, I do have three of them. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you guys on the next one. All right, all together. Thanks, Thanks for, for watching. watching. God, God bless. bless.